విద్యార్థులందరూ జీవితంలో నైతిక విలువలు పాటిస్తూ సమాజ హితం కోసం కృషి చేయాలని రాష్ట గవర్నర్ ఎస్ అబ్దుల్ నజీర్ విద్యార్థులకు పిలుపునిచ్చారు నెల్లూరు జిల్లా వెంకటాచలం మండలం కాకుటూర్లోని విక్రమసింహపురి విశ్వవిద్యాలయ ఎనిమిది తొమ్మిది స్నాతకోత్సవ వేడుకలు గవర్నర్ విశ్వవిద్యాలయ కులపతి అబ్దుల్ నజీర్ అధ్యక్షతన ఘనంగా నిర్వహించారు ఈ వేడుకలకు ముఖ్య అతిథిగా రక్షణ మంత్రిత్వ శాఖ సైంటిఫిక్ కో అడ్వైజర్ ఏరోనాటికల్ సొసైటీ ఆఫ్ ఇండియా ప్రెసిడెంట్ డాక్టర్ జి సతీష్ రెడ్డి ఉన్నత విద్యామండలి చైర్మన్ హేమచంద్రారెడ్డి హాజరయ్యారు ఈ సందర్బంగా ప్రముఖ ఈఎన్ శస్త్ర చికిత్స నిపుణులు డాక్టర్ ఈసీ వినయ్ కుమార్ కు విక్రమ సింహపురి విశ్వవిద్యాలయం నుంచి గౌరవ డాక్టరేట్ ను గవర్నర్ చేతుల మీదుగా ప్రదానం చేశారు తొలుత యూనివర్సిటీ ప్రగతి నివేదిక కార్యాచరణ ప్రణాళిక నివేదికను వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ జి ఎం సుందరవల్లి క్లుప్తంగా వివరించారు అనంతరం గ్రాడ్యుయేట్లు పోస్టు గ్రాడ్యుయేట్లు రీసెర్చ్ స్కాలర్లకు డిగ్రీ పట్టాలు గోల్డ్ మెడల్స్ ను గవర్నర్ చేతుల మీదుగా విద్యార్థులకు అందజేసి అభినందించారు ఈ సందర్బంగా విద్యార్థులనుద్దేశించి గవర్నర్ మాట్లాడారు యూనివర్సిటీలో మౌలిక వసతులు బేష్ అని ప్రశంసించారు నాక్ ఏ గ్రేడ్ పొందడం విక్రమ సింహపురి విశ్వవిద్యాలయానికి గర్వకారణమన్నారు తొలుత గవర్నర్ అబ్దుల్ నజీర్ ను విశ్వవిద్యాలయ వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ జిఎం సుందరవల్లి రిజిస్టర్ డాక్టర్ రామచంద్రారెడ్డి ఘనంగా సత్కరించారు విక్రమ సింహపురి యూనివర్సిటీ ఎనిమిది తొమ్మిది స్నాతకోత్సవంలో పాల్గొనేందుకు యూనివర్సిటీకి విచ్చేసిన గవర్నర్ అబ్దుల్ నజీర్ కు యూనివర్సిటీ వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ సుందరవల్లి జిల్లా కలెక్టర్ హరినారాయణ్ ఎస్పీ ఆరిఫ్ హఫీజ్ జాయింట్ కలెక్టర్ సేదు మాధవన్ రిజిస్టరు రామచంద్రారెడ్డి ఘనంగా స్వాగతం పలికారు పోలీసుల నుంచి గౌరవ వందనాన్ని గవర్నర్ స్వీకరించారు అనంతరం యూనివర్సిటీ ప్రొఫెసర్లతో గ్రేస్ మీటింగ్ లో గవర్నర్ గ్రూప్ ఫోటో దిగారు ఈ కార్యక్రమంలో డిఆర్డిఏ పీడి సాంబశివారెడ్డి నుడా వీసి బాపిరెడ్డి విశ్వవిద్యాలయ ప్రొఫెసర్లు విద్యార్థులు తల్లిదండ్రులు పాల్గొన్నారు సీనియర్ కన్సల్టెంట్ అండ్ కోఆర్డినేటర్ డిపార్ట్మెంట్ ఆఫ్ ఈఎన్టి అపోలో హాస్పిటల్ ప్రొఫెసర్ జిఎం సుందరవల్లి వైస్ ఛాన్సలర్ విక్రమ సింహాపురి యూనివర్సిటీ మెంబర్స్ ఆఫ్ ద ఎగ్జిక్యూటివ్ కన్సల్ రిజిస్ట్రార్ డీన్ ఆఫ్ ఫ్యాకల్టీస్ రీసెర్చ్ స్కాలర్స్ టీచింగ్ అండ్ నాన్ టీచింగ్ స్టాఫ్ లేడీస్ అండ్ జెంటల్మెన్ యంగ్ గ్రాడ్యుయేట్స్ and their proud parents members of the media i extend my warm greetings to you all it is indeed an honor and privilege for me to be here today on this auspicious occasion as chancellor of this esteemed university i stand before you with immense pride as we celebrate the remarkable achievements of vikrama simhapuri university i congratulate all the students who are receiving their degrees on this momentous occasion the campus of vikrama simhapuri university is encompassed by lush lush greenery and forest serene water bodies and verdant agricultural fields which i was observing on my way to the university this unique geographical setting not only provides a picturesque backdrop but also serves as a fertile ground for the university's multifaceted research endeavors leveraging the availability of abundant natural resources in the surroundings the university has been able to conduct interdisciplinary research aimed at addressing the pressing societal challenges through its nss and social work activities the university has also been able to extend the outcome of its research initiatives to the neighboring villages contributing to their overall development and well-being at the outset I congratulate the university on its outstanding accomplishment of attaining the coveted NAACA NAC 8 grade with an impressive CGPA scores of 3.23 This achievement is a testament to the relentless efforts and unwavering dedication 
of the entire university, university community. I think you must give a round of applause. With this milestone, I am confident that the university is poised to achieve top position in the prestigious NIRF rankings. The accolades garnered by the university's NSS team by receiving the national award for best university, twice in the volunteer category, along with several other state level awards, is truly remarkable. Today is a memorable day, not only for the graduates, but also for their teachers, parents and well-wishers who played a significant role in shaping their journey thus far. I am confident that as the graduating students embark on their successful careers, they will make a lasting impression in their chosen fields. I am addressing you. I urge you to uphold strong moral, moral values throughout your lives. Your hard-earned degrees signify not only your academic achievement, but also impose a responsibility on you to serve the society, especially the marginalized and underprivileged sections of the society. Here, I would like to draw your attention to the wise, wise words of our former President of India, Bharat Ratna, Dr. A.P.J. Abdul Kalam, and our friend Dr. Reddy has seen him from very close quarters. Who said that I quote? Please listen to me carefully. Eh? Give your best to the world. Give your best to the world. And the world will give back the best. Unquote. As you transition into the next chapter of your life, keep in mind that with determination and persistence, determination and persistence, but persistence should be in disguise. Don't make a show of things. You will get a lot of enemies. You have the power to overcome any hurdle. Determination and persistence, you have the power to overcome any hurdle. Your education has equipped you with the necessary, the necessary skills and knowledge to thrive in an ever-changing world. Do not shy away from dreaming big, Abdul Kalam said. Do not shy away from dreaming big, Mahatma said once. Think big to become great. You have to think big to become great. Madam, it applies to you also. I am very proud of you. Very proud of you, right? Do not shy away from dreaming big. Your potential to bring changes, change is limitless. Your consistent resilience Coupled with the expertise acquired during your academic journey ensures that no challenge is insurmountable, whether it is personal, professional or academic obstacle, you possess the capability to conquer them all. There is no limit to your dreams and aspirations, so aim high for no goal is too ambitious. Whether you are forging a new path as the first in your family to pursue higher education or continuing a legacy of academic achievement, your influence transcends generations. So do not hesitate to dream big. Man is the product of his thoughts, right? Man is the product of his thoughts. What he thinks, that he becomes ultimate. Your determination, perseverance and achievements will leave an enduring impact. 
embrace the boundless opportunities and limitless potential that, that awaits you in the outside world. I extend my heartiest congratulations, good wishes to all the graduates, postgraduates, research scholars and gold medal awardees for their outstanding achievements. Your degrees are a testament to your individual merit and a stepping stone to serve the society. I urge you to embrace traditional values. Right? That emphasize compassion, integrity and respect. Your adherence to these values will be an honor to your parents, teachers and alma mater and a positive contribution to the society. Over the past 15 years, university has made remarkable strides in serving the community, notably by empowering individuals with skills needed to thrive and bring about a positive transformation in their lives. Through various outreach, community and extension initiatives, the university has made a tangible impact, particularly in upliftment of marginalized and disadvantaged sections of the society by providing opportunities for participation in diverse fields and facilitating their economic development the university has demonstrated its commitment to social advancement in upholding its motto of satyam jnana manantam the university affirms that Truth, knowledge and wisdom are boundless and everlasting. As you embark on your professional journey, remember to equip yourself with communication and soft skills essential for a successful career. The skill development initiatives aim to prepare students to become career oriented and job ready and I encourage all the students to take utmost advantage of these opportunities. Our vision of a developed India calls for a strategic alignment of higher education courses with the evolving needs of our community and society. It is imperative that our academic programs equip the students with knowledge, skills and values necessary to contribute to our nation's progress and development. This calls for fostering research, innovation, sustainability and inclusivity across all disciplines. The landscape of higher education in India is constantly evolving, driven by technological advancements, demographic shifts and changing societal needs. The digital revolution has transformed every aspect of our life, including education. In order to remain competitive and relevant in this digital age, higher education institutions must embrace digital transformation technologies and artificial intelligence, AI we call it. There is a need for greater emphasis on the use of technology to provide high quality education to students irrespective of their geographical location. This is particularly important for students from remote areas who may not have access to quality education. It is essential to utilize the technology of digital platforms such as online teaching and e-learning systems to provide equal educational opportunities to all students. The university's efforts for digital transformation will ensure that our students are equipped with skills and competencies needed to thrive in the volatility, volat sorry, volatility, uncertainty, complexity and ambiguity world of education through innovative pedagogies, technology enhanced learning environments and multi interdisciplinary approaches we are preparing our students to navigate the challenges of 21st century. As we embark on the journey of transformation in higher education, 
let us remain steadfast in our dedication to excellence, equity and social responsibility. Together we can empower our students to become resilient, adaptable and visionary leaders who will shape a bright future for generations to come. One of the speakers said, Dr. Sarvepalli Radhakrishnan is from this, uh, uh, studied in this school, right? in this district and Venkaya Naiduji, Vice President of India. What more, uh, what is that, uh, examples you need? The university's commitment to social welfare is evidenced by its social outreach programs including community development and college to village, lab to land, social awareness initiatives being conducted every year. I compliment the Vikrama Simhapur University for its efforts in fostering collaborations amongst the academia and industry through university industry workshops besides, besides organizing national and international webinars and conferences. The Vice Chancellor's report underscores university's progress and continuous, continuous growth as evidenced by various metrics including research publications, student welfare, extension activities and social outreach programs. The university's broad, gross enrollment ratio reflects its strong position among higher educational institutions in the state. I am truly impressed by the university's dedication to developing top-tier infrastructure including state-of-the-art buildings, modern hostels and impressive main gate arch and well-maintained internal roads. The university's efforts in building facilities for alternative energy sources and implementing energy conservation measures like utilizing solar energy for street lights water heaters and computers in the library as well as setting up of small classroom digitalization of library with RFID and ILMS technology are commendable. The array of accomplishments achieved by achieved over the past two years is not only not only exceeds expectations but also mirrors the university's vibrant academic and research landscape. To the, graduate, to the graduating student, I would like to say that your dedication and hard work has enabled you to reach this significant milestone in your life and with the knowledge, skill and values possessed, you can certainly make a positive impact on the world you are about to enter. My advice to young graduates is to have perseverance in your pursuits and strive to achieve the goals you have set for yourself. My dear students, please remain humble and demonstrate at all times the wisdom and knowledge gained by you from this prestigious university. Right? Before concluding, I wish to recall the words of Nelson Mandela who said and I quote, education is the most powerful weapon which you can use to change the world. Let these words of wisdom inspire you as you embark on your future journey. Thank you all. Jai Hind. The Honorable Governor and Honorable Vice Chancellor for making me to be among us you here as Chief Guest. Particularly, me hailing from the same district and having studied here in the district up to uh, 12th class in this district and then moving out. And thank you, very, thank you very much, sir, madam. My heartiest congratulations to Dr. Vinay Kumarji, who is honored with the honoris causa from this university. I also congratulate all the students who are working out of this university with the respective certificates and with the knowledge imparted by the land professors from the university. And you are very happy people today moving out and you are moving out in the society with this knowledge.
the universe will be happy when you achieve something, when you become great people in the society and then get the name and fame to the university. Friends, from this district, there are many eminent people who have come right from the great poet Tikhana, none other than the former president of India, Dr. Sarvayapati Radha Krishnan, has studied in this district. Governors have come from the soil. The former vice president of India, Sri Lankai Nayagiri, hails from this place. So many people have come. And I wish that you will also be joining the list of the eminent people who have come from this state by achieving great things in your life. Today, if you look at the country is evolving itself as one of the premier nations in science and technology and in academics. With about 1168 universities in the country, about 4.3 crores of students studying the higher education, and the country is now standing tall with its achievements. We are now standing as one of the first three countries in the world with the number of publications what we are making. And also, we are again standing as number three in the world with the number of PhDs what are this thesis have come out from this country. Many achievements like this, if you see here, we have about Today, almost 1.4 million ingredients we are producing every year, with more than about 90 percent of them getting placed. This is a change which has happened. If you look at about a decade plus back, we didn't have more like even one institute in the first 500 global rankings of the universities. Now, if you look at these institutions, there are multiple Indian institutions which have come into the first 500 and we are fast moving to be in the first hundred. If you look at the premier institutes, we had only five IITs in the country. Now every state has an IIT, in an Institute of Technology, which is the premier institute of technology. Similarly, in the science education research, we have ISIS, Indian Institute of Science Education Research, in every state today. The country is Perspective is changing today. The students' mindset is changing today. If you look at about 15 years back or 20 years back, more than about 80 percent of the students who are coming out of the premier institutes of our IITs were going abroad. And today, the statistics say that more than 75 percent of the students from IITs are staying back here in the country. And the country is shaping itself as innovation hub. A number of startups are coming up in this country. With the initiatives of adult innovation, adult innovation centers, adult incubation, even right from the schools, the number of startups in the country are exponentially increasing. If you look at in 2016, we had about 458 startups in, here in this country, most of them by youngsters only. And today, if you look at, we have 1,14,000 startups in this country and growing very fast. So that is what I said, the students who are coming out of these premier institutes are getting into startups and coming out with innovations. And the startups are valued in millions of dollars today. And majority of the funding is coming from abroad or the technological achievements, whatever youngsters are doing our country is doing. With the initiatives of Make in India and Atma Nebar Bharat, the country is evolving itself as a technological hub, day by day achieving many things. The country is becoming self in many areas. If you look at from our department, which we have come from Department of Defense, we are standing as largest importer of defense equipment. And today, I can say that we are fast becoming or we have become self-reliant in the areas of many defense technologies, 
light, missiles, radar, tanks, advanced vehicles, couple, aircraft, electronic warfare systems, tuppers, sonars. You talk about many things. Today we have our own fighter aircraft, we have our own uh, main battle tank, we have our own submarines, we have our own ships. And many of the experiments, what have been done, we are standing in the world as one of the first four countries, five countries who have such great technologies. And we are moving fast. As I said, we were the largest importer, now it is turning around, we are becoming an exporter. Last year, our country has exported more than 16,000 crores worth of defense equipment and the same this year it has become 21,000 crores of exports from this country. Lots of countries are showing interest and every day lots of technologies are coming out with academia, industry and the research laboratories collaborations here in the country. So it is the time where the country has to become a leader. The vision of the leadership of the country is to become a leader by 2047. So if you have to become a leader, the academics, the basic academic institutes have to be strengthened and that is where the fundamental knowledge comes to the students and basic research, the fundamental research has to happen in the academic institutes and migrating from there, the basic research to applied research to translation research and innovations coming out. And that is how it is. If this country has to become prosperous, it's primarily the contribution of science and technology which has to contribute to make this country a prosperous country. And so, the academic institutes have a major role to play. I keep telling everywhere, the academic institutes should be the engines of the innovation hubs and innovations in the country, promoting a lot of innovations and research which comes out and make the country stand tall in the world, which we are emerging very fast. I wish, with the type of achievements what Vikramasam over University had, and getting not A grade very recently, and even though it is very young having 8th and 9th convocation now today, I am sure that the university will be emerging as one of the best universities in the country, and then wish that Having hail from the soil, university from my district will be standing tall. My best wishes to all of you. Jai Hind. Namaskar. God, Ashi Salyat, Hami, Chas!
breakfast every I request every good morning and warm greetings from Vikram Simapuri University Nello to everyone. Welcome to the 8th and 9th Convocation. We are honored to have His Excellency Sri S. Abdul Nazizri, the esteemed Governor of Andhra Pradesh and Chancellor of our distinguished university in our... Furthermore, we are privileged to welcome Dr. G. Satish Reddy, President of the Aeronautical Society of India, former Secretary of the Department of Defence and R&D Government of India and Chairman of the Defence Research and Development Organization that is DRDO and former Scientific Advisor to Rakshana Mandri and as of a Chief Guest and the Chief Orator. His groundbreaking contributions to the field of science and technology serve as a beacon of inspiration to us all, sir. And now we are proud to confer Honours Kaza to Dr. E. C. Vinay Kumar, a distinguished senior consultant in the department of ENT at Abula Hospitals for his outstanding contributions in cochlear implant surgeries. His commitment to, the, to, to serve the community and his dream to make India a debt-free country is surely going to inspire our young graduate. To the educational needs of a broad spectrum of students, Presently, with the 98-99 affiliated colleges, our vision is to be recognized as a premier educational institution um, amidst the picturesque landscapes of Pakistan and Venezuela. The university enjoys a serene environment with the academic achievements of our graduating students. Let us reflect upon the profound impact of education and scholarship. Remarkable free underscores the relentless commitment and concerted efforts of our units of 3,361 graduates and postgraduates who were conferred degrees in absentia with holistic learning, learning experiences that transcend conventional classroom boundaries. Before the Republic Day celebrations, and also our former principal of uh, Vikram Sivapuri College of Nello, T.H. Vijaya and our NSS coordinator, Dr. A. Uday Shankar and Dr. Pri Sridhar, district level for discharging their duties effectively in 2024. And Srimati A. Josna, community development coordinator, received the Bharat Ejikwasati, a spanning over for 83 acres and 78 acres of land both in Nelly solar energy for street lights and water heaters and the also plantation and drip irrigation facilities and digital computers for the library are noteworthy achievements. Additionally, the transformation of classrooms into smart rooms with interactive panels exemplifies the university's commitment to innovation and advancement. I express my gratitude to the district administration, especially the district collector and the magistrate, honorable members of the parliament, donors and philanthropists for their valuable contributions in initiating such practices through their corporate social responsibility fronts and also from MP labs. Come to our central library because it is a beacon for us. It is well equipped with the reading room, stack area, reference section and the digital library. The library is fully automated with an integral library management system for 80,000 e-books and more than 60,000 e-journals. To help us and who play a crucial role in aligning our curriculum, research and innovation and community outreach are integral to our university mission. Our dedicated, with our dedicated faculty and research scholars and students and staff, I extend my heartfelt gratitude to our esteemed Governor and Chancellor, Dr. E.C. Vinay Kumar, to kindly rise from his seat while the citation is being read. I have the honor to introduce Dr. E.C. Vinay Kumar, a renowned Indian ENT cochlear implant surgeon. Dr. E.C. Vinay Kumar, born to Dr. Ratnamma and Dr. Ratnaraj at Jamal Madhu YSR Padapa district in the year 1951, started his early education in Bishop Carton School, Bangalore and in Madras Christian College School, Chennai. 
He finished his bachelor's in medicine, bachelor's in surgery from Christian Medical College, Vellore, in their respective fields. His areas of expertise are cochlear implant surgery, bone anchored hearing aid surgery, treatment of snoring and obstruction of Sahi, and NGO started on Children's Day in 2004 with him as the founder secretary to mainly help children areas. In addition to conducting camps in remote areas of the state, they have done a lot of lot to educate and sensitize people regarding hearing problems. By virtue of the authority vested in me as the Chancellor of the University, I confer upon you the Honoris Causa degree of Doctor of Science of Vikrama Simhapuri University and in token thereof, you have been presented with degree and authorize you to wear the robes ordained as Ignatia of your degree. And executive council members to go in front of the chancellor and after bowing to him, present the recipient of honoris causa degree. Diplomas, stand and answer the three questions put to them by the vice chancellor with the words I do promise after the question. Admitted to the degree for which you have qualified, you will, in your daily life and conversation, conduct yourself as become worthy members of the university in the service of your fellow men. That you will faithfully and diligently fulfill the duties of the profession to which you will eventually belong. Gampala Praveen Kumar, PhD Ranna, PhD in Social Work, under the guidance of Dr. Ekusuma, in the year 2023. Salla Maulali, PhD in Social Work, under the guidance of Dr. R. Madhavati, in the year 2024. Salla Maulali, PhD in Social Work, under the guidance of Dr. R. Madhamati in 2024. Sheikh Shakila, PhD in Commerce, under the guidance of CH, Professor C.H. Srinivasra. Nennoru Rajeshwari, P. Shiba Rani, PhD in Manda, D22. Dr. Sikharan Mai, India 2023. India 2023. Medi Boyna Bhavana, PhD in Barabaka, India 2023. India 2023. Guidance of Dr. S. B. Sainath, India 2023. Under the guidance of late Professor C. H. Ramu, India 2022. Kaveri Pakam Sai Puja, MA English, recipient of Dr. Akaraj Subhubhavaneshwari Memorial Gold Medal for the year 2022. Or for the year 2022. B. Madhurima, MSW, recipient of SR Sankaran Memorial Swati, MSW. Recipient of SR Sankaran Memorial Gold Medal for the year 2022. Now I read out names of gold medal recipient. Yamka, recipient of late Sri B. The Ramanaya Memorial Gold Medal for the year 2021. Pogavarapu Lavanya MCOM, recipient of late Sri Beda Ramanaya Memorial Gold Medal for the year 2022. Gundala Usharani MBA, recipient of Rachapudi Kamakshi Memorial Gold Medal for the year 2021. Professor KC Reddy Gold Medal and 
Rajapodi Kamakshi Memorial Gold Medal for the year 2022. Thank you, sir. Medal, Sri Patap Premiriti Foundation Gold Medal for the year 2021. Thati Patri Gold Medal for the year 2022. Seswanti Arava MSc Bio Marine Biology won two gold medals. Venkata Ramaya Memorial Gold Medal for the year 2021. Pakam Vishnu Vardhan MSc Marine Biology and Sri Tirdala Venkata Ramaya Memorial Gold Medal for the year 2022. Mathematics win won a gold medal. Kata Sessikant Reddy, Secretary of Soil and Degree College Gold Medal for the year 2022. Vidicha Gold Medal, uh, Professor Kotra V. Krishnamurti Gold Medal and Tikkavarabu Seishama Gold Medal for the year 2021. Pudicheri Chandana, MSc Arthur Kotra V. Krishnamurti Gold Medal and Tikkavarabu Seishama Gold Medal for the year 2022. And Sri Ande Bulli Veera Badrudu, husband of Ande Bala Parvati Gold Medal for the year 2021. Foundation Gold Medal and Sri Ande Bulli Veera Badrudu, husband of Ande Bala Parvati Gold Medal for the year 2022. His Excellency, the Chancellor, thanks, is with us today. Charity is a fundamental aspect of every religion and belief. Give the world the best you got in any places. It is between you and your God. On the occasion of 8th and 9th convocation of Vikramasamukhuri University, I profusely thank his Excellency, Honorable Governor of Andhi, for inaugurating the convocation and enlighten the young minds towards the development of nation and to the world. And for gracing the 8th and 9th convocation of Vikramasamukhuri University, especially towards science and technology. I thank E.C. Vinayak Margaru for accepting honorary degree, inspiring the degree awardees and gracing the function. Free movement of this convocation. Thank you, madam. With an immense pleasure, Harinarayan and IAS Garu and District Superintendent of Police, Sri K. Arif Hafiz, IPS Garu and Sri S. Seth Madhavan, IAS Garu, Joint Collector, SPSS Nilur District for their meticulous planning and helping the university in making the 8th and 9th convocation grand success. Visvasai English Medium School or Special Features Well Planned Academics English Communication Skills Textbook Reading Handwriting Skills Online Exams Games and Sports IIT NEET Orientation Classes or Recent Accomplishment 100% Pass in 2024 SSE Exam Admission Jarguchanavi Vishwasai English Medium School Opposite Children's Park Nellore Play Class to 7th Class